My vision for the solar dome started when I went on a visit to Cornwall and I saw the Eden Project and I saw what learning could take place. We looked at the site and realised that we can create something high with beautiful views, excellent lighting and that doesn't exist anywhere else. It's on the top of a three-storey building on top of a chemistry lab. How exciting is that? I think it gives the girls a different perspective, being out of the classroom and being able to actually do some practical work in an environment that is you know, tailor-made for us, so they see it as theirs and um, that instills pride in them. I enjoyed working with Solar Dome because I'm not an architect, I'm a head teacher. When I had meetings with them, they explained it at my level, but also they listened very, very carefully to what I wanted. I like the dome because it's really spacious and you can do lots of like dangerous and exciting experiments in it. It does make it easier to do lessons in the dome because it's easier to focus and you're away from everyone else. When the dome was constructed, most of the time I didn't even realise people were here. We have a lot of building work around the school anyway so it was no more disruptive than any of that, in fact less disruptive and you know it seemed to be completed fairly quickly and without any sort of disruption to girls and staff. The other flexibility for me with a dome is that I can use it throughout the whole year and then you can do lots of things with it. You can come up here in winter, it's very warm, we've done that. You can come here in blazing heat and that's fine, it's cool, not a problem either. But what's interesting is you can also do weather experiments up here and normally you can't in a school because it's so high up and it's round. So um, it serves multiple purposes. I'm hoping also that we can develop science and engineering and do engineering experiments up here. For me, it's one of the most positive buildings, and I've built many buildings in the school, but it's the most positive because it's the one building that looks towards the future. This is how students should start learning in an environment that is related to the outside world, to the real world of learning in, in, in laboratories and so on. This is forward-looking thinking.